Have you ever pondered the possibility of an identical version of you walking around somewhere in the world? Imagine a stranger with your smile, your eyes, your nose, an uncanny mirror image. Welcome to the world of doppelgangers, where the fascination with finding our lookalikes has endured through the ages. In our digital era, this pursuit is no longer confined to tales of folklore or chance encounters. Advanced technology, like artificial intelligence and facial recognition software, is unlocking a universe of twins, making it possible to find your own lookalike from the comfort of your own home. As we venture into this intriguing exploration, you might find that the world is smaller and more interconnected than you think. The key to finding your doppelganger lies in the intricate details of your face. It's all about those unique lines, curves, and contours that make you, well, you. Facial recognition software, a marvel of modern technology, is designed to pick up on these details. It scans and analyzes key features such as the shape of your eyes, the structure of your nose, and the line of your jaw. It's a bit like a high-tech game of spot the difference, but instead of cartoons, it's using the faces of millions of people around the world. But how does the software decide who looks like you? Enter AI-generated similarity scores. Imagine your face as a complex mathematical equation, full of variables representing your facial features. The AI's job is to solve this equation and find others with the same solution. It's a process that offers a level of standardization, removing human bias from the equation. It's also incredibly accurate, capable of identifying subtle similarities that might go unnoticed by the human eye. And when it comes to scalability, AI reigns supreme, capable of analyzing vast databases of faces quickly and efficiently. However, like any technology, it's not perfect. For starters, focusing solely on facial features can oversimplify the concept of resemblance. Factors like hair color, body type, and even the way someone smiles or frowns can play a significant role in how much two people look alike. There's also the issue of data bias. AI algorithms learn from existing data sets, which means if those data sets are unbalanced or unrepresentative, the AI's performance could be skewed. Lastly, there's the subjectivity of beauty. While the AI can quantify similarities, it can't account for cultural or personal preferences for beauty, which can influence how much we think two people look alike. While AI offers an objective lens to view our physical similarities, it's not without its limitations. But as the technology evolves, who knows? Perhaps one day we'll all be able to find our doppelgangers at the click of a button. Looking beyond individual features, we find that symmetry and averageness play a significant role in our perception of attractiveness and similarity. Symmetry and averageness, you ask? Yes, it's not just about having the same eye color or nose shape as another person. When we talk about averageness, we're referring to the tendency for physical features that are close to the average of a population to be perceived as more attractive. It's a curious quirk of human psychology that we're drawn to the familiar, and an average face is, in essence, a familiar face. Symmetry, on the other hand, is all about balance. The human brain loves patterns and order, and a symmetrical face provides that. It's like the Mona Lisa of faces. Everything is in its right place, creating an aesthetic that's pleasing to the eye. But how does this relate to doppelgangers? Well, these two factors can contribute to the phenomenon in a couple of ways. First, if two people both have highly symmetrical average faces, they're likely to look more similar to each other than two people with less symmetrical, less average faces. Second, our inherent preference for symmetry and averageness can shape our perception of similarity. We're more likely to notice and remember faces that are symmetrical and average, and therefore more likely to identify these faces as lookalikes. Think about it like this. If you're looking for a needle in a haystack, you're going to have a much easier time if you know that the needle is exactly average in size and perfectly symmetrical. It's the same with spotting doppelgangers. Our brains are primed to pick out the faces that fit these criteria. So while the shape of your nose or the color of your eyes might make you a match with someone else, it's the symmetry and averageness of your features that really seal the deal. These inherent preferences for symmetry and averageness add another layer to the doppelganger phenomenon. While our faces tell a story, our genes carry the narrative of our ancestry and the potential for doppelganger connections. It's a captivating thought, isn't it? That somewhere out there, someone could be carrying a genetic blueprint similar to yours, manifesting in a face strikingly similar to your own. But how does this happen? Let's dive into the gene pool, shall we? Shared ancestry might be a logical starting point, 
If two people hail from the same geographical region with a smaller gene pool, the likelihood of shared ancestral traits increases. This could in theory result in similar physical features and voila, you have doppelgangers. But it's not just about who your great-great-great-grandparents were. Certain facial features are influenced by specific genes. If two unrelated people happen to inherit similar genes for these features, they could end up looking alike. It's like winning a genetic lottery where the prize is a face twin. However, before we get carried away with the idea of finding our genealogical double, let's consider the complexity of our genetic makeup. Most of our facial features are polygenic traits influenced by not just one, but many genes interacting in complex ways. This means that shared ancestry wouldn't necessarily guarantee identical genes for these features, making the existence of doppelgangers a little less straightforward. Then there's the concept of convergent evolution. This evolutionary theory suggests that similar traits can evolve independently in different species, or in our case, different people, due to similar environmental pressures. So, two people could evolve to have similar features, not because they share a common ancestor, but because their genes have responded to similar environmental factors. In the genetic dance of nature, the chances of finding an identical stranger are slim, but not impossible. A combination of shared ancestry, genetic predisposition, and convergent evolution could align to create that uncanny physical resemblance. The genetic puzzle of doppelgangers is complex, but it's this complexity that makes the phenomenon so intriguing. So while the odds may be stacked against us, the search for our genetic double continues. In the world of glitz and glamour, doppelgangers are not just a curiosity, but a phenomenon. Celebrities with their faces plastered on every conceivable media platform are prime candidates for finding lookalikes. Remember that time when the internet was abuzz with comparisons between Oscar winner Natalie Portman and Stranger from Another Era, a Civil War era doppelganger? Or when fans couldn't stop talking about how much Canadian singer Justin Bieber resembled a young Miley Cyrus? These instances are just the tip of a fascinating iceberg. In fact, there are entire social media accounts dedicated to spotting celebrity doppelgangers, while some stars have even invited their lookalikes on shows for a laugh or two. It's a testament to our collective fascination with similarity, and a reminder that even in the realm of the unique and extraordinary, commonality can be found. But it's not just about striking physical resemblance. Pop culture, with its powerful influence, amplifies this phenomenon, turning it into a global conversation. We see these lookalikes and we marvel at them, we share them, we discuss them. It's a testament to the pervasiveness of pop culture and its ability to shape our perceptions. And let's not forget, this fascination with celebrity doppelgangers also reflects our deep-seated human desire to find connection, to see ourselves in others, even if they are world-famous personalities. So the next time you do a double take at a celebrity lookalike, remember, it's not just about the uncanny resemblance, it's about our collective fascination with finding common ground, even in the most unlikely of places. In the spotlight of fame, the quest to find our lookalikes takes on a whole new dimension. In the vast sea of faces, how do we distinguish one from another? Enter AI. Artificial intelligence through machine learning algorithms and facial recognition technologies has become a significant player in the world of doppelgangers. By analyzing unique facial features and patterns, AI can quickly and efficiently identify similarities and differences between faces. But it's not just about matching faces. AI plays a crucial role in setting them apart. It discerns nuances that the human eye might miss, distinguishing between identical twins and even spotting differences in photos taken years apart. However, AI is not without its limitations. Its ability to differentiate is only as good as the data it's trained on. Biases in data can lead to biases in recognition, and there's a risk of oversimplification when complex human features are reduced to mere data points. Furthermore, we must consider the ethical implications. In a world where privacy is increasingly precious, the use of AI in facial recognition raises questions about consent and data security. It's a balancing act between the fascination of finding our lookalikes and respecting individual privacy. As we continue to harness the power of AI, the line between similarity and individuality becomes increasingly nuanced. In our quest to find our twin strangers, we've journeyed through technology, genetics, and pop culture. We've delved into the fascinating world of facial recognition and artificial intelligence, examining how these cutting-edge technologies can identify and score physical similarities with an accuracy that is both remarkable and unnerving. 
We've also explored the intriguing role of symmetry and averageness in perceived attractiveness, and how these factors can contribute to the uncanny resemblances we see in doppelgangers. Yet, we've also acknowledged that beauty is subjective and cultural, and that AI, with all its precision, can't fully grasp this complexity. Our journey took us into the realm of genetics and ancestry, where we found tantalizing hints of shared heritage and genetic predispositions. But we also saw the limitations of these connections, as most facial features are polygenic and influenced by a complex interplay of genes that shared ancestry cannot guarantee. We've had a brush with stardom, looking at celebrity doppelgangers, and considering how pop culture influences our perceptions of similarity and difference. And lastly, we've seen how AI can help set doppelgangers apart, providing an objective measure of resemblance that complements our subjective perceptions. Throughout this journey, one thing has become clear. The fascination with finding our twin strangers is a reflection of our deep-seated curiosity about ourselves. It's a captivating blend of narcissism and existential wonder, a quest for identity in a world of seven billion faces. As we continue to explore the boundaries of our individuality and connectedness, the fascination with our twin strangers will continue to captivate us.